I want to drop my 10 favorite palettes. Maybe that's how they're destroyed. Maybe if my top 10 favorite palettes are destroyed because I drop them. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I am so glad to have you guys here today. I am this year in a no buy. And so in that, inspired by that, I'm trying to do videos where I show you what I have, my collection, and use my collection, and be inspired by my collection, so I'm not inspired to buy more. My video today, as you saw from the title, is my top 10 eyeshadow palettes. Okay, and there's some, I guess, explanation with that. I've seen people do this, and they're like, if I were stranded on, on a desert island, what eyeshadow palettes would it take? Or if someone stole all my, or like all of my makeup burned in a fire, what top, what eyeshadow palettes would I repurchase? Or like if I only had 10 eyeshadow palettes. So I kind of made a combination of all of them. <laughs> because I was like, I don't know. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I was like, how do I, do I just do my top 10 favorite of my eyeshadow palettes? Or do I do, if I could, own, like if, if my, makeup burned up in a fire somehow and like a meteor hit my house and burned my house what 10 palettes would i repurchase so it's kind of a combination of that okay cool so if that sounds interesting you know here you go i don't know what i should start with it's not a ranking it's not like one to ten it's just ten palettes so here we go i'm just gonna grab the one that's closest to me ABH Normina. This palette, I was thinking, I, I really love this palette. This is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 5. Okay, so I picked this palette for several reasons. Purple, as you can see, actually I have purple on my eyes today. This, I just did a video where I did a full face of MAC, so I'm wearing a full face of MAC today. And this palette is a purple palette. There's some purple and some neutrals, and I felt like I love purple. I love wearing purple on my eyes because I feel like it makes my green eyes pop. So I needed a purple palette. Is this one of my top favorite palettes? Yes. But also, if I were to only, okay, I really, if I, if I were to have somehow all of my makeup destroyed and have to repurchase, I would want a purple palette. Purple is one of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes. So. I figured this belongs in this category. Top 10, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. It has, why did I close it? I'm still talking about it. I just feel like it has inner corners. I always, I don't like it when a palette has all dark colors because then there's not an inner corner or all light colors because then there's not an outer. Because this is my favorite eyeshadow look is the outer corner is dark and the inner corner is light. It's my favorite. I feel like I can try to play around with other things, but this is just my go-to. And so I really like it. So I like it when something has that. We have like light tones, dark tones, mid tones. We have some shimmers, we have mattes. It's a really nice palette. I also could go neutral with this. I don't have to go purple. I have just some, some browns. I could just go brown with this. Okay, the only thing wrong with this palette is there is a pressed glitter. <sighs> I feel like pressed glitters are kind of worthless. I don't like them. I feel like they get in your eyes. <laughs> Who wants glitter in your eyes? So there's only one thing wrong with that palette. I would repurchase this if all my makeup was destroyed or it's in my top 10. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna keep saying that throughout the video, but here we go. Okay, next, Danessa Myricks. So this is the Danessa Danessa Myricks Beauty Lightwork Volume 3 palette. This palette was really hard to get. Um, it went on Danessa Myricks website and it, like sold out really fast. Then it went on Sephora and sold out really fast. Luckily, I was able to get it because I had a $10 like rewards, $10, $100 reward from like my, my Rouge rewards. And so I had $100 to spend and actually, I was trying to get the Natasha Denona gold palette because it it was, it was, still is going in and out of stock actually, which is funny. It, it just came back in stock like a month ago or something. Um, I'm in a no buy, so I didn't buy it. But I was at, at the point when I bought this palette, I think it was a year and a half ago, two years ago, I was not in a no buy. I had a $100 reward. And so I was trying to buy the Natasha Denona gold palette and by the time I got everything, like, because you have to enter in, like, the, the gift card number for the reward, 
by the time I got that all in, the gold palette was sold out. And there was this palette. And I remember being like, should I open it for you, Bianca? Come on. I was like, should I even, like, I was on the fence about it. I was like, oh, am I just getting this because I didn't get the gold? And I'm upset, but I, like, I'm upset that I didn't get the gold, but I still want to buy something because I'm, I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> and I am so glad that I got this palette. It is multi-chrome madness. Okay, it also has a pressed glitter though, which I don't love. I don't love pressed glitters. Eight of these shades are multi-chrome, multi-chrome, like amazing, beautiful shades. Then you have these four highlighter shades and they're kind of multi chrome as well. So anyways, I actually also have the volume four. So I was choosing between the two of those and I think I like this one better. The four shades in volume four are difficult to work with. These ones are just highlighters. So they're you know, they're not my favorite. I, I really like the eight shades better. I, I didn't include this one. This is kind of a black and it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a multichrome. It's a black, but blacks are really nice to put multichromes on top of, and it gives you this, this base. So you put the multichrome on top and it makes the multichrome pop. So this is, this is a really nice palette. I love this palette. I bought it on a whim, which is funny because it's a $125 palette. Who buys a $125 palette on a whim? I am a shopaholic. Also, I'm not, I'm trying to get out of that, which is why I'm in the snow by year. I also had a hundred dollar reward, so it was $25. So, but now I am so glad that I have it. It is beautiful. I love the formulation of these multi-chromes. That is just a one swap. I have the hardest time saying one swatch swipe. These are lipsticks, please ignore. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, look at that. I did them accidentally really close to each other. These are other swatches from the other video. These three, phew, so pretty. I'm not gonna swatch all of these palettes, but that one needs to be swatched. You need to see the magic of it. So if all of my palettes were destroyed, I actually couldn't repurchase that one because it's not available for sale anymore. I would go on Mercari and <laughs> purchase it. I love this palette. It is definitely, it's in my top 10, which is what I feel like obviously this video is it is my top 10 but i also tried to categorize i also tried to have a purple palette i tried to have a neutral palette i tried to have a mermaid palette i have a halloween palette in here so i tried to be like okay if i only had 10 palettes i wouldn't want all mermaid palettes even though i love mermaid looks i wouldn't want all purple palettes even though i love so technically would my top 10 if i weren't trying to categorize be probably all mermaid and purple probably <laughs> so i I tried to categorize this a little bit so it wasn't all just purple mermaid palettes. Okay, so next palette, Natasha Denona. And remember these are in not like a top three, they're just whatever I'm pulling off the stack. This is the retro palette. This is really, okay, would this, I feel like this would probably be in like my top 20, not actually my top 10, but it is, a really good everyday palette for me and so if I were to get rid of all of my makeup somehow and I needed this would be like I could have just this palette every day for the rest of my life and make beautiful eyeshadow looks that go really good with my green it, it looks like my I okay it looks like I'm wearing this palette right now I'm not but it looks like I am so I feel like for my preferences and for my eye color and for this is just a really a really good eyeshadow palette. Actually, we went to Hawaii last week and my sister who also has green eyes, I asked her, I was like, hey, what eyeshadow palette did you bring? And she's like, I only brought one. And she said she brought this one. So I brought this one, which is the next one we're gonna talk about. But because I thought that one was more Hawaii, you know, mermaid. But it is a perfect palette for green eyes, perfect. So I feel like it fits in this top 10 because if I were all of my makeup were to disappear, I would want a palette that I could wear every single day. Cause if I only had 10, I would be using those 10 more often. And this would be such a good neutral. Cause I like, I like a neutral eyeshadow because it will go really well with like red lipstick or like purple lipstick, or I don't know, a fun bright lipstick color goes really well with a neutral eye look. And so neutral, and it's actually not even that neutral. It's neutral for me because <laughs> I'm, I don't like very neutral colors. So this, this is perfect. It is, I feel like it belongs in my top 10 because it would be what 
I would be wanting to use every day if I had a smaller eyeshadow collection. Only 10. Did I over explain that? Possibly. Okay, then we have the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lure Palette. My husband did buy me this one for Mother's Day this year, so it is a new item in my collection this year, which is rare for me because I'm not buying this year. And it's stunning. <laughs> I actually, okay, you guys may have seen it if you saw on my Instagram or on my YouTube. My Instagram is also Bianca Skogan Beauty. I did a photo shoot on the beach with this palette. <laughs> which I'm sure everybody who saw me doing it was like, what the heck is that girl doing? Cause I actually like was getting down really low to take pictures like with the surf and the sand and like I was, and I like, fell on my bum and it, it was an adventure. It was really good. So I would only do a photo shoot on the beach with an eyeshadow palette of a really <laughs> amazing eyeshadow palette. I just thought it would be fun it would be fun to do because I have this channel and I was on the beach anyways because we went to Hawaii. So I was like, why don't we take pictures of this pal on the beach? Also, I was hoping to get Blend Bunny's attention, which I haven't, but that's fine. <laughs> kind of sad, but anyways, this is a beautiful palette. It has, this is the quintessential mermaid palette. It's called the Lure palette. They also have a Trove palette, which only has four and it, it's four multicrums. I didn't buy it. Obviously, I'm not buying anything this year. My husband didn't buy it because it's more expensive than this one. Oh, four shadows and it's more expensive. It's because they're multichromes. But if I need a multichrome, I have this one. This one has eight stunning multichromes. So I don't need the trove because I have this one. And I actually have the volume four. So I have multichromes. Cool, 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 cool. So which one was I on? This one, Lure. I love mermaids. If you can't tell, I feel like I'm a, have a, I'm a mermaid at heart. I love mermaids, mermaid palette. This palette speaks to my soul. I love it. This is definitely in like my top three, not even top 10. So I would, I would repurchase this one in a heartbeat. Cool. Cool. Okay. Then here is me sectioning this one. Is this one technically in my top 10 of my palettes? My top 10? No, it might be my top 20, but I'm trying to section my palettes and be like, I'm doing a twofer. <laughs> I am trying to, you know, so if all of my makeup were destroyed, I would want to repurchase this palette. This is by Give Me Glow Cosmetics, the Pastel Dreams palette, because I felt like I needed categories, right? A purple palette, mermaid palette, multicrome palette, pastel palette, because in the springtime, I love to wear a pastel. I love a pastel eye because they're just, they're fun. Yes. I was explaining earlier that I like to do a dark outer corner and a light inner corner, not with pastels. Pastels are a different game and I just like to have fun with them. So, and this to me is, I, I did actually recently purchase the Natasha Denona pastel palette and this one's better. This one's better. It's a really, I think they're similar prices and this one is better. It's, it has, you know, they, a matte along with a shimmer of each color, like blue, matte blue shimmer purple matte purple shimmer and all of them it oh, it's so it's such a good palette so good actually i think it was now that i'm thinking about it, i think it's less i think this one was 54 when i bought it and the natasha denona ones are 69 so this is less and way bigger like look at look at the size difference here yeah uh what actually like gram wise this one has 19.25 grams this one has 35 grams. This one has 15 more grams of product and is less. I love indie brands. Okay, so I would wanna repurchase that one. Should I have done just like my top 10? Maybe, but then it would have just all been like purple palettes. <laughs> so I wanted to have a little variety in there. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, cool. So now on to like my favorite season. My favorite season is fall and Halloween. I love, actually, Halloween isn't my favorite holiday, but my favorite season is fall. I don't have a favorite holiday. I love them all. I actually am kind of obsessed with all of them. And so I have a lot of decorations for all of the holidays. I don't have a favorite holiday. I love them all equally. Anyways, this is the Spooked Palette by Gourmand Girls. This is so fun. Okay. I feel like to be in this top 10, um, in my top 10 favorite palettes, this is actually in my top 10 favorite palettes. 
and it works really well in my categorization as well because I am excited about this palette. It, I see the color story and it reminds me of fun and Halloween and I love fall time and look at all those fun colors. This belongs in this category. We have like a, this one I think is at least a duochrome, maybe a multi-chrome and we've, it's like a rainbow palette but Halloween and fall and Oh, I don't know I'm whispering anyways I love it this is in my top 10 and I would repurchase this one if my collection was destroyed so if I only had 10 palettes I would want a Halloween slash fall palette because I love to wear those colors during Halloween slash fall it's Bell cosmetics this is the flare palette so I was thinking okay this is in my top 10 this is literally one of my top 10 favorites that should be all of them mm. anyways but also, not, aside from it also being in my top 10, I was thinking I need a good, un, like a shiny, shiny, shiny palette. Yes, I have the Vanessa Myricks with the duochromes, but this one, the those ones kind of, um, a lot of them have, well, actually, some of them have like a black base to them. These do not. These are just shiny, glittery multi-chromes. So I thought it would be a really good palette to have that would be a good, shiny shiny palette <laughs> I love color and I love shiny and it's funny because I don't love pressed glitters because they get everywhere these are like having a glitter without it getting everywhere because they are emollient and they just like go on the eye really nicely anyways this palette I've used this palette untold amount of times and I love it it's so beautiful I would repurchase this one in a heartbeat okay so I was thinking that I'm not done yet but I was like, okay, if I have like just an all shimmer palette, maybe I should have an all matte palette, but I didn't, I don't have that in there. So if I had 11 palettes, <laughs> not a top 10, I think I would have like an honorable mention. Why am I mentioning the honorable mention when I'm in the middle of this? Um, I would do the Blend Bunny Blends palette. Let me go get it. The Blend Bunny Blends. This would be an honorable mention, okay? Because it's a rainbow palette. I feel like for categorization, I don't have a rainbow palette. I have kind of a neutrally mauve one because that's my what I like. I have purple. I have, which maybe did I need a neutrally mauve and a purple? Yeah, because that's what I like to wear the most. Um, I have Halloween. I have an all shimmer palette. So this one was really, I was on the fence about putting this in here because I was like, I kind of needed a rainbow palette. But I figured, here was my thought process of not putting this one in, that with all of this here, with the mixture of the colors. Like I was like, I could probably come up with a rainbow here. So let's think about this. We have red, orange, yellow, and I'm trying to think of like, like true of those colors, green, blue, purple. So I have a, I have a rainbow within these palettes. So do I need a rain, a separate rainbow palette? No because I, I felt like I made a rainbow with these other palettes. That was my thought process. But if I could do 11, that would be my 11th palette. Okay, let's get back on track. <laughs> I've only said eight so far. Okay, do I have another mermaid palette? Yeah, yeah I do, because it's so good. This is such a good palette. This one is by Electrum Cosmetics. It's the Sea Witch palette. <sighs> the shiny shades in this palette are to die for. She like, the owner of this brand, she like put her heart and soul in these and they, this is like a really small indie brand and these are the shiniest of shinies. Mm, this is next to the Danessa Myricks. That one isn't as shiny. Oh wow, holy cow. The one in the middle isn't as shiny, but it's still, in this lighting it isn't but it is oh my gosh okay so do i like shiny shades yeah do i have a lot of them in this collection yeah but that's what i like so anyways stunning 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 i would repurchase this palette every day <laughs> like if my makeup collection was destroyed every day i would repurchase this one every day that was weird um anyways that one is gorgeous last no i am a bad counter oh my gosh nah. <laughs> So it's because I have a little palette in here and it got lost in the shovel. This 
I put only one like small, all, all of the other ones were big palettes. And I thought about it, I went, hey, should I have a small palette in here? Because I feel like if I were traveling and I lost a whole my collection, would I want to be taking a big palette with me when I'm traveling? And I was like, no, no, I wouldn't. Also, I didn't have a true neutral palette. Could I come up with neutral looks in the mix of all of these? Yeah, like the purple palette had some neutral colors in it and this next one that I'm about to show you has some neutral colors, but anyways, um, the spooked one, did I even tell you it was the spooked one? It has, no, I mean, there's a brown. Yeah, it's not that neutral. Anyways, I could come up with some neutral looks between these palettes. So I was like, you need, but, but as for categorization, I was like, you need a neutral palette in this top 10. So I was like, what is my favorite neutral palette? This is the Rowan 1111 palette. This is beautiful. Like I love wearing this, these shades with a red lipstick. Cause I feel like it shiny eyes, red lipstick. It's like a really pretty wintry look and you could wear it anytime you wanted. But for me, I like, this is a really good winter palette for me or even summer, but just not a red. I don't feel like, I don't feel like red lipstick is really good for summer and whatever you can do, whatever you want. But here we go. Here's my, neutral palette and it is also a compact palette and also this is actually in my top 10. I am obsessed with this palette. I love it so much. The shimmers on this, okay I, I guess I am swatching. This is, I didn't mean to swatch like everything. Okay this one probably won't swatch as well. It's just it it has a chunky, a chunkiness to the shimmers that the other ones don't so it might, yeah it's not it's not telling the story that it, it is, but it, if you can kind of see, it's a little bit chunky and that chunkiness goes on the eye and just pops. It's amazing. Anyways. Okay. Now we have the last palette and it's not last cause it's like the worst. I, this might be my number one palette for this year. This is the Glaminatrix Cosmetic U Beauty palette. Okay. I, this I bought in 2022, but it is a small indie brand in Australia and I actually got it, received it in 2023. So that's why I'm saying it's my favorite palette of 2023. Possibly. I don't know yet. 2023 is not over yet, but I bought this one because I was like, okay, I want to try out Glaminatrix Cosmetics. I've heard lots of talk about it. It's an indie brand. I want to try it. And they had the, like, is it nearly neutral? It's a palette that is neutral, which Indie brands don't usually do neutral palettes, so I was really intrigued by that one. But these were kind of expensive and they had like shipping and even like maybe duties or something. I don't know, it, it was expensive. It was expensive to get this to Utah. And so I was like, oh, let's just get one. Let's and let's let's just get one palette, see if we like them in Atrix. Maybe later I'll get more palettes. And by later I mean 2024. <laughs> Anyways, I bought this one because it was in a unique color story. Look at it. So this is another one that I can say that I is, is kind of rainbowy. It's not an exact rainbow, but I can get, if I wanted to make a rainbow, I could with this palette, um, with all the other colors as well. We've got unique colors in here. I don't believe I have like a sunflower yellow and all the other ones. And that one's really good for fall time. We have a shimmery yellow. Oh uh, no, actually the give me glow had a shimmery yellow. Anyways, the most special shade in here is this one right here. It doesn't look very special. Probably this shade is to die for. Okay. You, it, it's not showing up as beautiful as it is, but let's see if we can get it on my arm. It is amazing. It is amazing. I am tempted to put that shade in every single one of my eye looks, but I'm like, Bianca, you can't wear this shade on every single eye look. I just, I love it because I feel like it could go in the inner corner of every eye look because it's like neutral enough. I guess it is kind of yellowy, but it's, it doesn't have like lean yellow. It does. Oh, what did I just say? It doesn't like a lot of these multi-chromes like lean either like green or blue or purple. And I feel like this one is very just bright. It is a bright, inner corner, which I love a bright inner corner. And it has, it does have a yellow shine to it, but I feel like a yellow bright inner corner kind of is like gold and, and be 
I love it. 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 I want to wear it on every eyeshadow look, but I tell myself no. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite palettes this year. Is the color combination interesting? Like when I first got it, I was like, why did you buy it? Out of all of the Glam and Extrix ones, why did you pick this one? And then I started using it and coming up with some interesting looks. And I was like, that's why. That is why. It, it was unique. It is unique. It's unique in my collection. It has some, like probably one of my favorite shades. Like if I had one favorite shade in my entire collection, it's probably this one. <laughs> so I have to include this palette. It's, it's stunning. So yes. Yeah, there it is. There's my top 10. If all of my makeup collection was destroyed and I had to repurchase slash mostly my top 10 out of my eyeshadow collection, like pretty much, pretty much my top 10. It's a little bit, I, I gave a little leeway for category, categorization, but yeah, there it is. Yay, what do you guys think? What are your top 10 eyeshadow palettes? All right, well, if you like this video, like this video, oh my God, I'm covered. <laughs> like this video. If you wanna see more from me, then subscribe to my channel and push the bell to be notified of my videos. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.